Giovanni, congratulations through the next one of the Cup. Can you give us your thoughts on the match and uh, your experimental lineup tonight? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, um, of course, we changed a lot of players today, and uh, it was good to, uh, to have the 11 today on the pitch to give them, uh, give them minutes uh, and uh, raise their levels of fitness because of the coming weeks. So I was really happy uh, with that. Of course, the most important thing is to go to the next round. And uh, you know we could have uh, we, we gave debut to many players from the academy, which is also a good a good thing, and for them also something positive to uh, to keep working hard to eventually play more games in the first team. So I'm uh, really happy. Yeah. Giovanni, um, sorry to take you away from today's game, but the, the burning question for Rangers fans is: you're meeting for with Alfredo Morelos on Sunday. You said you were sitting down with him. How does that go? And how does is everything resolved? And does Alfredo have a future here? Yeah, well, I said it before. Uh, I had a good good chat with him on, on Sunday. He had a, he had a good week uh, to train, but also think about his future. And of course, um, uh, I had a good, good good talk with him. And uh, so, uh, as I said before, he's still a Rangers player. I think it's going to be uh, important for us in the next. Uh, Next month and this season, so uh, I saw a change in his, uh, you know, in his uh, in his attitude, the way he worked, and uh, you know, you have to keep continuing uh, working like this for for the next coming months to uh, you know to to be the player he uh, he, he can be and a player who can uh, give us give us a lot. Geo job done tonight, quite comfortable in the end. All eyes now. Um, go forward to quite a, a huge week next week. Are you expecting any new faces here before the week is out? Um, well, I, I'm, I'm relaxed. You know, it's still a couple of days. You know, you never know what what's happening in those days, but uh, you have to be prepared. But you know, I don't uh, at the moment. I think this this is a squad we uh, we're gonna have. As I said, mentioned before, we created this squad to uh, to be competitive and to uh, to beat the Champions League as well, which they did. So uh, no, I'm I'm quite relaxed. Giovanni, just talking about the the experimental lineup tonight. I thought Scott Arfield and Bertrand Yilmaz really, really stood out. Is, is Scott giving you a bit of a selection headache for for Saturday? And maybe Bertrand is, is he someone that can challenge Borna Barisic for that left back spot in the in the coming months? Yeah, well, I mean, it's of course it's, it's good to see uh, Rithman play, and uh, you know you will, will only get stronger in the next coming uh, coming games. Uh, Scotty, I know what he can bring. You know, it's not like this is the first game he played, and and that's for all the players who started today. You know, I think uh, it's not only about this game; it's about giving them minutes. But I'm really well aware of all the, uh, the strengths of, of, of my players, so uh, today was more giving them uh, the minutes uh, uh, to, to play. Of course, you know, you want to use as, as many players you want in the game. If you look at the, the opponent, you look like uh, the, the setup you can have on, on the pitch, and uh, that's why you saw the lineup you saw today. And uh, so it was good to, uh, to give all the players so many minutes. Final one for Mark. You've, um, you've given minutes to new signings and also quite a few from the academy in the last couple of games. Does that mean that you may be looking to spring a few surprises on Saturday? I don't know. Again, for me, the preparation starts tomorrow. I mean, uh, you know, I'm really got, you know, I'm really uh, happy with the performances of also the young players. You know, it's not easy to come on the. Uh, in, in games like this, they heard yesterday they will be involved in the game. <coughs> of course, I spoke with him before uh, the match, and if, if possible, give them minutes. But uh, you, I think you sh you saw, you know, uh, I think some some bright things, you know, from 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 Stevens. Ancio is quite a strong midfielder, both only 16. Uh, Lovelace as well, young player, big talent, and uh, and who uh, of course started the game. And we still yet Leon King and Adam Divine, who's still very young. So uh, you know, I think uh, the academy is a is a is a big part for for this club. And uh, you know, I just love working with them and to inspire them and, and to uh, to give them chances also to uh, to play. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.